Exploring the red planet Mars has captivated the imaginations of scientists, space enthusiasts, and the general public for decades. The idea of a mission to Mars is undeniably fascinating, offering a unique opportunity to expand human knowledge and push the boundaries of our capabilities. Not only does it represent the next giant leap in space exploration, but it also holds the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe and secure the future of humanity. The exploration of Mars is crucial for for several reasons. Firstly, Mars is the most Earth-like planet in our solar system and presents a natural laboratory for studying the conditions necessary for life to exist. By investigating the planet's geology, atmosphere, and potential water resources, scientists can gain invaluable insights into the origins of our planet and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Secondly, Mars could serve as a potential backup for humanity as we face challenges and uncertainties on Earth. Establishing a sustainable presence on another planet is an essential safeguard for our species. By becoming a multi-planetary civilization, we would reduce the risk of extinction and ensure the survival of humanity in the event of a catastrophic event on Earth. One of the most prominent advocates for a Mars mission is Elon Musk, the visionary entrepreneur behind SpaceX. Musk has expressed his ambition to establish a self-sustaining colony on Mars, with the long-term goal of making humans a multi-planetary species. If the future does not include being out there among the stars uh, and being a multi-planet species, I find that it's incredibly depressing. His plans involve developing a reusable spacecraft called Starship, which would serve as the primary means of transport to and from Mars. Musk envisions a future where thousands of starships are sent to Mars, carrying supplies, equipment, and eventually people. He aims to make this ambitious endeavor economically feasible by leveraging reusable technology, reducing the cost associated with space travel. By creating a self-sustaining Martian colony, Musk hopes to pave the way for the colonization of other planets and ensure humanity's long-term survival. In this video, we will show you the top secrets of Elon Musk's mission to Mars. So, make sure you watch this video till the end. Before we dive into the prospects of inhabiting Mars, it's essential to know the environment of Mars and whether life is really possible on the red planet. While the Earth is a larger terrestrial planet with a diverse range of landscapes, including oceans, continents, and various geological features, Mars is approximately half the size of Earth, with a diameter of about 6,800 kilometers compared to Earth's 12,742 kilometers. It has a rocky surface with valleys, mountains, and polar ice caps. Mars also has a thin atmosphere, composed mostly of carbon dioxide, 95%, with traces of nitrogen and argon. Its atmosphere is much less dense than Earth's, causing average surface temperatures to exist around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 62 degrees Celsius. Evidence suggests that Mars once had a large quantities of water, including oceans, lakes, and rivers. However, most of its water is now frozen in polar ice caps or exists as subsurface ice. Liquid water on Mars is currently rare or non-existent. Elon Musk suggested that we should nuke Mars to break the thick layers of ice to make it livable. In contrast, some might think of Musk as a mad scientist for this statement. There's actually a fair amount of logic in this statement. Yeah, so, so nuking Mars, I, I, I sort of was a little flippant about that. The, the sun is a, a nuclear explosion, a fusion explosion. So if you wanted to uh, add energy to Mars, like warm up Mars, the, really the source of almost all energy in the universe is fusion. Our Earth is teeming with life in diverse ecosystems, ranging from microscopic organisms to complex organisms. It has the ideal conditions for life, including a stable climate, a variety of resources, and abundant liquid water. Mars is a focus of astrobiological research because it has similar properties to Earth and could have previously supported microbial life. Scientists are searching for signs of ancient life, such as fossilized microbes or organic molecules, and studying the potential habitability of subsurface environments. Let's talk about Elon Musk's plans to populate Mars. SpaceX aims to achieve a daily launch rate of three Starship rockets, each capable of carrying a 100-ton payload. With a fleet of 1,000 Starships, the goal is to transport nearly 100,000 people to Mars during the planetary orbit synchronization, which occurs approximately every 26 months. 
Elon Musk envisions a population of 1 million people on Mars to establish sustainability and independence from Earth. This number is based on his estimation of the required population to recreate Earth's entire industrial base, enabling autonomous construction, manufacturing, and processing capabilities on Mars. Musk's driving motivation is to ensure the survival of humanity by becoming a multiplanetary species. He emphasizes that if something catastrophic were to occur on Earth, the consequences would be irreversible and devastating. At the outset of his Mars colonization vision, Musk recognized the exorbitant cost associated with launching payloads from Earth's orbit. Previously, NASA paid approximately $94,996 per kilogram for space missions, including expensive space shuttle missions that incurred costs exceeding half a billion dollars. Moreover, traditional rockets were disposable, falling back into the ocean after launch. SpaceX sought to revolutionize spaceflight economics by developing a self-landing rocket. After numerous attempts, they achieved the first successful rocket landing in 2016. The ability to reuse rockets multiple times significantly reduced costs and propelled Musk's dreams closer to reality. Currently, SpaceX charges approximately $62 million per launch, amounting to nearly $1,200 per pound. However, Musk aims to further decrease the cost through Starship, which carries a much larger payload, making Mars missions economically viable for transporting humans. Through advancements in engine technology and becoming a private contractor for NASA and the Department of Defense, SpaceX surpassed NASA in the space race. The company's profits were reinvested in larger rockets and more powerful engines, overshadowing the commercial launches conducted for NASA. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, also established Blue Origin with ambitions for Mars colonization and space exploration. The commercial potential of space and its untapped resources, such as metals and minerals in the asteroid belt, have attracted significant attention. A NASA report estimated the value of these resources to exceed $100 billion for the 8 billion people on Earth. But why did Elon Musk choose Mars? Musk believes that Mars is the most viable choice for human habitation among the available options in our solar system. Other planets like Venus, with their extreme temperatures, crushing atmospheric pressure, acidic rain, and hot winds, are unsustainable. Earth's moon lacks resources and has no atmosphere, resulting in extreme temperatures. Mercury experiences extreme heat during the day and extreme cold at night. Gas giants like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are essentially condensed balls of gas and cannot support human life due to the tremendous pressure at their surfaces. While some moons of Jupiter and Saturn may be potential candidates, they are farther and colder than Mars. Pluto, located even further from the Sun, is also too cold for human habitation. Considering these factors, Mars stands out as a promising candidate. It is cold, but not excessively so. Its darkness is comparable to Earth's, Mars is relatively close to Earth, and its day is nearly the same length, which is crucial for agricultural purposes. Mars has about one-third of the Earth's gravity, an abundance of frozen water, and a significant amount of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide can be converted into oxygen by plants, making it essential for the process of terraforming Mars. Terraforming involves making Mars more Earth-like on a permanent basis, potentially through global warming until it becomes capable of supporting plant life that can play a vital role in transforming the planet. Let's talk about the latest Starship launch. Elon Musk recently unveiled his plans for the colonization of Mars in a captivating animated video released by SpaceX. The five-minute promotional clip of its first orbital test flight, termed by SpaceX as Starship Integrated Test Flight, provides a glimpse into the future of space travel, showcasing how the Starship spacecraft could transport humans to the red planet. The video begins with the majestic sight of the Starship lifting off from Earth, soaring beyond the clouds and into the vastness of space. Once the spacecraft reaches orbit, the first stage of the rocket gracefully separates and returns to Earth, flawlessly landing back on the same launch pad it took off from. This display of vertical landing demonstrates the reusability of the rocket, a critical aspect of making Mars colonization economically viable. As the video progresses, the Starship continues its journey, setting its sights on Mars. It descends towards the Martian surface, offering a breathtaking view of what could potentially be a human colony. The colony boasts multiple landing pads, indicating a thriving and developed settlement on the alien planet. The inaugural orbital test flight of SpaceX's Starship prototype, known as the Starship Integrated Test Flight, 
took place on April 20th, 2023. However, the highly anticipated event ended in disappointment as the vehicle met an unfortunate fate. Less than four minutes after liftoff from the SpaceX Starbase located in Boca Chica, Texas, the Starship prototype experienced a catastrophic failure, resulting in an explosion before reaching orbit. The test flight aimed to assess the performance and capabilities of the Starship prototype in a real-life orbital scenario. As with any ambitious technological endeavor, such tests carry inherent risks, and SpaceX understood the possibility of encountering setbacks and failures along the way. Despite the setback, SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation and its commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration remain unwavering. The company's development of the Starship spacecraft represents a bold endeavor to revolutionize space travel, with the ultimate goal of enabling interplanetary missions and establishing a human presence on Mars. SpaceX has always embraced a rapid iteration approach, learning from each test flight and incorporating the lessons into subsequent designs and launches. The failure of the Starship prototype underscores the challenges and complexities involved in developing cutting-edge space technologies, highlighting the need for continuous refinement and improvement. Although the exact timeline for colonization of Mars has yet to be made clear by SpaceX, Musk's ambitious vision hinges on the success of SpaceX's upcoming generation of rockets. In previous statements, Musk expressed his optimism, suggesting that human presence on Mars could be possible within five years and highly likely within a decade. Let's talk about the BFR. SpaceX has an ambitious plan to launch its Starship spacecraft into orbit using the Super Heavy Booster, commonly referred to by Elon Musk as the Big Effing Rocket, or BFR. While the recent explosion of the Starship prototype was a setback, SpaceX's ultimate goal remains unchanged. The Falcon Heavy, SpaceX's current largest rocket, already holds the title of the most powerful booster rocket in human history. It surpasses any other rocket currently available, with double the lifting capacity of its closest competitor, capable of carrying nearly 13 tons into space. However, Musk recognizes that more is needed for the ambitious plans ahead. Hence, the development of the BFR, a colossal rocket that will initially have the capacity to transport a few hundred tons to space, with long-term plans to increase this capacity to a staggering 1,000 tons. The difference in payload capacity between SpaceX's current best rocket and the BFR is immense, dwarfing its predecessor by over 100. To accommodate its enormous capabilities, the BFR is planned to be a towering 25 stories high, equipped with 42 powerful Raptor engines, each capable of lifting a stack of 172 cars or an entire Boeing 747. The BFR represents a significant leap forward in rocket technology. The Super Heavy booster working in conjunction with the Starship propels the spacecraft into space. Once in orbit, the Starship connects with another Ready booster that accompanies it on its journey to Mars. During the long interplanetary voyage, the Starship aims to provide amenities such as zero-gravity games, movies, lecture halls, and even restaurants. Musk envisions the spacecraft as a zero-gravity cruise ship, offering comfort and entertainment for the passengers on their way to the Red Planet. Musk's ultimate goal is to make interplanetary travel accessible to more people. He hopes that eventually the cost per individual for a journey on the Starship will decrease to around $500,000 and eventually to $100,000. This bold vision aims to revolutionize space tourism and pave the way for the colonization of Mars by making it more affordable and attainable for a broader range of individuals. Musk has a plan to build a self-sustaining city on Mars. There's been a lot of research going on about how to make the conditions on Mars livable for humans to survive. It can be done through terraforming, this involves modifying the Martian environment to make it more Earth-like by increasing the atmospheric pressure, introducing greenhouse gases, and releasing trapped carbon dioxide to warm the planet. Habitat construction is also a crucial factor that involves creating habitats or colonies with life-supporting systems. Shielding from radiation, providing necessary resources such as food, water, and oxygen, and utilizing Martian resources such as extracting water from ice to sustain human settlements and support future colonization efforts. 
Sealed environments or underground habitats are also under study to protect humans from harsh radiation, extreme temperatures, and low atmospheric pressure. Elon Musk proposes a bold and innovative plan to address the cold and inhospitable conditions on Mars. The average surface temperature on the red planet currently hovers around minus 62 degrees Celsius. To make Mars more habitable, Musk envisions a strategy of heating up the planet's polar regions to unlock the reserves of frozen carbon dioxide. This transformative process would involve developing a series of controlled low fallout nuclear fusion explosions, effectively serving as artificial suns. The primary objective of Musk's proposal is to utilize the released carbon dioxide to gradually develop a more favorable atmosphere on Mars by raising the temperature and triggering the release of the frozen carbon dioxide stores. It is anticipated that the planet's atmosphere composition could be altered, making it more suitable for human survival. The creation of a more hospitable atmosphere would enable humans to explore and traverse the Martian surface while wearing simple breathing apparatuses, eliminating the need for full spacesuits. Elon Musk took to Twitter and shared an ambitious vision for the future, stating that it was possible to establish a self-sustaining city on Mars by the year 2050. According to his plan, the goal was possible to achieve if the initial steps were initiated within five years, and subsequent efforts were coordinated during 10 orbital synchronizations, with each synchronization occurring approximately every 26 months. It would take a minimum of around 22 years to lay the foundation for the city to thrive. Elon Musk has set himself a personal deadline to realize his vision of a self-sustaining Mars city, accommodating 1 million inhabitants by the year 2050. It is worth noting that Musk would be 79 years old in that year, underscoring the immense scale and long-term nature of his ambitions. Let's talk about Elon's plans for government and laws on Mars. Elon Musk confidently asserts that the governance system on Mars would adopt a direct democracy model, rather than a representative one. In a direct democracy, individuals would have the opportunity to participate directly in decision-making processes by voting on specific issues. According to Musk, this approach holds advantages over representative democracies, as it significantly reduces the potential for corruption. Musk's preference for a direct democracy on Mars stems from his desire to eliminate the intermediaries of politicians and representatives. He believes that decisions affecting the Martian society should be made collectively by the people themselves, granting them a direct voice and influence in shaping the laws and policies that govern their daily lives. Furthermore, Musk outlined a couple of suggestions regarding the creation and maintenance of laws on the Red Planet. He proposed that the process of removing a law should be easier than enacting one. Specifically, he proposed that the law would require a majority vote of 60% of the population to be established. However, when it comes to repealing a law, a lower threshold of 40% of voters would be sufficient. This approach would allow for greater flexibility in adapting to changing circumstances and evolving societal needs. Elon Musk proposed the implementation of a sunset provision for laws on Mars. This provision would entail setting an expiration date for each law, after which it would automatically cease to be in effect. By imposing a time limit on laws, Musk aims to encourage regular evaluation and scrutiny of their relevance and effectiveness. If a law fails to garner sufficient support during its expiration review, it will not be reinstated, prompting a continuous assessment of the laws and ensuring their alignment with the evolving needs and values of the Martian society. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you liked it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We also appreciate your feedback, so don't hesitate to express your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. We'll be back with another amazing video soon. Peace out.